So the sum of the terms of a sequence is called a series. And today, we are going to focus on the finite series, meaning there is a fixed number of sequence. So here, there is a story which may may not be true that when he was eight years old, the mathematician was asked by the teacher to add all the numbers from one to 100. The teacher hoped this will keep him busy for most of the day, but he figured it out within a second. Guess what he did? Or let's go ahead and try some easier one and apply the same rule. What if I ask you to add from 1 through 10? What would you do? These are the common questions on, you know, like Math Olympics. These are one of the popular, one of the most popular questions that you will see in like math competition, like Math Olympics, what do you do? You guys never seen these questions? The answer is 55, but the thing is how do we, how did that little student came up with 55 in like a second? What's one plus 10? 11. What's two plus nine? One number got bigger and one number got smaller than 10, so they add up to? 11. What about 3 plus 8? 4 plus 7? 5 plus 6? So how many 11s are there? 5. So you get 55. So then let's come up with an equation. This is obviously arithmetic because it is increasing by 1. So how do we come up with 11? The first term plus the Last term, which will be, how do you write it? So now we use S4 series, sum of the sequence. And there are 10 numbers. So then you have the first term, A1, plus A10, the last term. And then how do you get 5? It's 10 divided by 2. Okay? Okay because they paired up, we paired them up. So it's half of the total number of series. So what is the formula? The formula will be this right here. This will be given to you. So for arithmetic series, it is n divided by two, and you add a1 in the last one, first term in the last term. But what if the last term is not given to you? Would they always give you the last term? Sometimes, sometimes not. Then what do you have to do? You have to use the explicit equation to find the last term. What's the explicit equation? A1 plus N minus 1 times D. And you plug it into N. If you plug that into N, this is the new formula. Okay. Let's try D. Use this same strategy to add 5, 8, 11, 14, 17, 20, plus 23. I mean, if there is only, what, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, you can just plug into the calculator and add it. But let's see if the formula works. So what's the formula? So 7, series of 7 terms equals 2. And how many? 7. What's the first term? Five. What's the last term? 23, and we divide it by 2. So then what do you get? It's 7 times 28 divided by 2, which is 7 times 14, which is 98. That's a series of those seven numbers. The sum of the seven sequence. That's called finite because there are fixed number of sequence that we are doing. Next time what we're going to do is the infinite. We're going to add the infinite many terms. So it will either converge or diverge. So here's the formula. Try this question. Write this on page three. This is not on your paper. Find the sum of the arithmetic series 8, 11, 14, and dot, dot, dot. 
when n is 31, since they gave us 31 for n, it's finite. But when you just look at this sequence, it is infinite. Why? We don't know when it's ending. But today, they will give you the fixed number of n. So first of all, you have to see whether it's arithmetic or geometric, because geometric has a different formula to use. So what are we doing each time here? Adding 3, so this is arithmetic finite, because we're doing 31 terms. So then what do you have? You have to use the formula. Yeah, good so I'll make a recommendation, please. Yeah, come and talk to me later. So what is the series? Of 31 terms, you do n, 31, divided by 2, times what? First and the last term. But do we know what the last term is? So that's what we have to actually find first. So that's going to be written as a to which term? 31 term, right? That's our last one. How do you find the 31st term? We can use the explicit equation. So what's the explicit equation? The first term plus n minus 1 times the difference. What's the difference? 3. And what is n? 31. So we do 8 plus 31 minus 1, which is 30 <coughs> times 3. So we get 98. So then we put... The 31st term here, which will be 98, and when you plug into the calculator, what do you get? Let's just plug into the calculator. So 31 divided by 2 times parentheses 8 plus 98. You get 1643. 1643, it's the sum of 31 numbers. All 31 sequence, yes. That's a formula. Divide by two. Oh, it's the same thing. Doesn't matter where. Yeah. When you divide this by two or just put it there, it's the same thing. 